happy Wednesday. I have to really think about the day because, baby, let me tell you something. My body and my mind don't line up. <laughs> they don't line up. But we're not going to complain because this is the day that the Lord has made. It is a beautiful day in Dallas, Texas. The high today was only 68 degrees. It was real, real chilly when we woke up. A good chilly for me. Like, I love, um, I love that kind of weather. That's not cold to me. It's just right. Like, not too hot, not too cold. Just right. Oh, I hate right here because you cannot see. Um, so, yeah, I said, let me go and welcome the family back to another vlog. I'm headed to um, Excuse me, I had to put some stuff on my lips, honey. They are dry. Um, headed to Hobby Lobby <sighs> to get the rest of this stuff for this girl mom. And I have to make her friend a mom also. I'm praying that they have more than what they had on the other day when I went. Hopefully they put out some more stuff. It's a Michael's right there. My friend, my neighbor said that Michael's has some stuff too. So I'm gonna run in and check both places. Um, I got a little time before I pick up Taylor. I just need to be out the store by 6.30 because I gotta have at least that amount of time from where I'm at to get her from cheer practice. Cause I, it's starting to get dark early now. So I don't like her um, sitting out there. But, um, where my shades at, baby? The sun, the sun is sunning. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so you just sat there probably texting and made us miss the light. These people will, um, So yeah, that's what I'm about to do because baby, when I tell you, we are running on last minute time. <laughs> baby, last minute, last minute. But as as always, y'all know that mama gonna make it happen, Captain, okay? Friday, she'll have her little outfit. Um, She'll have her little, um, outfit for what am I trying to say uh, homecoming she got some pants made and a sweater so she'll have that she'll have her mom her hair be done her nails will be done we doing it all last minute but by the grace of God we're gonna get it done okay yes sometimes I'll be like Lord why why did you not allow me to have two boys Ethan just sit at home, play his game. All he required is his game, some snacks, and that's that. He don't even ask for clothes and stuff. He got that because I buy them because he needs them. Now, that might change when he get older, but for right now, he easy going. Baby Taylor just need, need, need her, 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 her appointment here. And baby, she's full girly girl. She wants all the things, all the things, yes. But, um. I was just watching um, All Things Dorcas, my boo, and she was talking about with the upcoming holidays and mental health and making sure that we're okay and therapy, the importance of therapy and all that. And it's very, very, very important. Um, that's one of the things that I'm glad that I started for me and the kids because let me tell you something baby grief it hit you out of nowhere I'm talking about slap dab in the face 
you be okay one, I ain't gonna say one day, one minute, and then the next minute you just like toe down, can't get yourself together. I mean, and you still have that with therapy. Well, I, I, I do anyways. But it's always good to have somebody to talk to. You know, so you can, those feelings don't stay bottled up. Because I, I'm that person, like, I've always been known to be strong and this and that. And But baby, let me tell you something. It's only so strong, so much of a strong person that you can be. Because about a year ago, I was going to scream if I heard the word strong again. Like, no, don't call me strong. I'm not strong. <laughs> the, the strong era is over. And I'm even teaching myself that, like, you cannot... Like, I'm one of those people, especially when it comes to my kids and my home, my marriage. Like, I think I have to do everything. Everything got to be on point. Can't nothing lack can't nothing run over to the next day. Like, I gotta get every task that I have set for that day, I have to get it done before I go to bed. Even if it results into me being extra tired, going to bed late, and all of that. I had to break myself from that because I had to learn to give myself grace. I mean, mentally, I deal with a lot. Physically, I deal with a lot. So I had to teach myself how to give myself grace. It's okay. It's okay if if I straighten the kitchen up, but don't get around to washing the dishes the next morning. It's okay. My house is clean. Like the, the, the world ain't going to end because it's two pots in the sink. It's okay if I'm too tired to make dinner. Like, I keep plenty of food. My kids will be okay if they put something in the microwave or in the air fryer or eat a sandwich or some cereal. Like, it's it's not, the world is not going to end. Um, And, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not all the way there, but I'm getting there. Because <laughs> sometimes Fred will tell me, dear, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. And I'm like, I do just because that's just the way I am. But I'm getting better. But I said all that to say, you know, give yourself grace. You don't, you know, I I, it, I think it was a meme or something on Instagram. Like there's no award for being the strongest woman, you know, all the time. Like, no, you, you just gonna wear yourself out and then that causes health issues, high blood pressure, just all kinds of stuff in the long run, you know? So give yourself some grace. Like it, it ain't it ain't gotta be all done. We all, you know, strive to be great mothers and great fathers and be there for everybody and but you can only do what you can do and it's okay if you can't do it it'll get done at a later date period point blank so yeah i guess we just had a little help session and i'm helping myself everything that i say i was telling somebody they said oh when you post on your story, it just really be helping me. And I said, baby, I'm glad it helps you because let me tell you something. Nine times out of 10, I posted it because it was talking to me, <laughs> to myself. That's exactly why I posted it. Cause baby, the, the struggle be real, okay? Yes, it does, but um, we always get, um, I've made it to Hobby Lobby. I'm about to run in here, but y'all remember that. Give, give yourself some grace. Give yourself some grace. And I'm talking to me first. Give yourself some grace. It'll get done when it get done. I, 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 most people, when they do something, they try to do the, do it to the best of their ability. Most people. You know, I know some people intentionally F up, but most people try to the best of their ability to do whatever it is that they're doing right the first time. 
you know, because I know me, especially as an adult, especially over 40, honey, my nerves sometimes be stretched thin. And y'all excuse me because the sun is sunning. But so when I'm doing something, I want to make sure it's right because, honey, I first of all, I don't have time to repeat it, um, whatever it may be. And that's just that's just not what we're gonna do in, in these days at this age so i make a conscious effort to to do it right you know but if you don't do it right it's okay it's all right redo it what donna mccarthy say if, if you fall down get back up get back up try it again try it again you know, there, there's no harm in failing. I always tell my kids that the, the, the bad comes in when, when you fail and then you don't even attempt to try again or you let that defeat you. We, we're not defeated. We're not defeated. We're children of God. We're not defeated. But it ain't, it's not a sin. Ain't nothing wrong with you failing and trying again. And it may not even be that you failed. You just didn't get it quite right. And that's okay. I'm talking to Angel. And then everybody else in the world. It's okay. I promise you it is okay. Give yourself some grace. Take a break. Don't cook. Don't work overtime. Yes, we all need the money. But sometimes, uh, once again, I'm speaking to me. You got to... Scale back, say, I know that the Lord will provide, but your girl got to get some rest, okay? Because you're no good if you're not good. You're no good for anybody else. And it don't matter if you don't have kids, a family, you you're, you still need to be good for yourself because you have other obligations, work, friendships, family, whatever. So whether you're single, married, whatever, you still need to be good to yourself. I need to be good to Angel because I cannot pour from an empty cup, period, point blank. And it took me 42, almost 43 years next month to get that to click. So that was just on my heart. I didn't even mean to go there, but I guess it needed to be said that was on my heart. So I could talk all night. <laughs> but I'm not. I hope that helped y'all. I hope y'all received it. Thank y'all for clicking on this vlog. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. Y'all been rocking with your girl through Vlogtober and I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So we're about to run in Hobby Lobby and get this stuff. Run to Michaels and then we're going to pick up y'all niece from cheer practice. And then I'm going to do her lashes. And then, and then, and then, and then.